um, when you talk about termination era policies of boarding schools and the Indian Adoption Act and, and all those things that um, took our children, in some cases forcibly, put them in non-native homes, um, subjected them to environments of abuse. It's really something that needs to be talked about with a good, honest conversation, but we need to do that in the spirit of not blaming, but this is what happened. How do we move forward to assure that these things never happen again? For the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. It's meant to help Maine and Wabanaki governments move forward together. You know, there were some when, when I started working on this process that said, why would you need that process? We have the Indian Child Welfare Act, we have good policy, and, and as I said in my remarks earlier, that's not enough. I'm thinking a lot about my oldest sisters, and I have some sadness that they haven't had the opportunity to go through this process that I have and been able to do some healing around what happened. I can hold my children, even though they're adults, and I can hold them and I can tell them that I love them and truly, truly feel love for them. And I, didn't, I wasn't able to do that before. We're going to work with our communities and we're all going to start the conversation about what happened. People will come forward and tell their stories to the Truth Commission. Families of these individuals will come forward also to tell their stories. The children who were affected by those of us in foster care. We will not only heal as families and be able to change the, and deconstruct the trauma, but I think we can heal as communities. I said earlier, my best hope for this is that it has widespread impact. I, I, of course, I hope that there is healing for those that have been harmed in the past. That's important to us. For, for the staff that I oversee, my hope is that there is widespread understanding of what the history was, what the truth of the history was, so that they never repeat even a bit of it. That's my best hope. Ideally, with this Truth and Reconciliation Commission focusing on Indian child welfare, I think what my ultimate goal is, is to have a full understanding in this state of what happens when a child from our tribe or from any of the tribal nations in Maine um, are displaced, what that process looks like, how they're supposed to be dealt with, and, um, and their cultural ties and their tribal affiliation is always the most important thing on that agenda. My hope is, is that this can become the model in all areas for how to sit down and truly try to understand the tribal perspective as well as um, us understanding where the state's coming from.